Hi, I'm Marco Brigham and welcome to the tutorials of Deep Learning Day 2. First, let me share a little bit about myself. I manage research and development at the Belgium startup called Monoya that specializes in automated document recognition. I'm also very interested in our forestry, that is agriculture, but with trees, that I believe will play a major role in fighting climate change. I'm also very curious about robotics and how it will help scale agroforestry operations in the future. About a year ago, I acquired a small plot of land, some 100 kilometers north of Lisbon, and this is where every week I go and practice working with trees and plants. And this is where I live now, Figure de Foch, further north. I moved here after my PhD and I work remotely. My background is in physics, and that was followed by a master's in machine learning under the guidance of Mike Van Rossum in Edinburgh, followed by a PhD in computational neuroscience, the team of Alain Destex, and more recently, a postdoc in sleep research with Erwan Lupenek at Polytechnic in Paris. Now let me tell you about the cognitive task that we'll be using in this tutorial. So it starts with the MNIST data set, the database of handy training digits, and here you have some examples. And the denoise task is you take digits and you add noise, and then try to reconstruct the noiseless versions. So in this task, you try to see the signal, the digits, from the noise. And it requires you to have an idea of what handwritten digits look like. Second task is image completion, where small chunks of the image are taken out and you are to imagine the missing part. Third task is the digits are rotated and you have to identify the rotation to put them back in their original position. These are the operations of the MNIST cognitive task. And as you see, they're quite challenging. You need to learn to remove noise from images, guess at the occluded parts, and then do a geometric transformation, in this case, a rotation. We will not ask you to perform this cognitive task or ask you to ask your fellow pod students to do it. Instead, we'll use autoencoders that you will learn more during the tutorials. But basically, autoencoders are able to solve the MNIST cognitive task in the sense that when provided with the modified images on the output after training, they are able to recover something that resembles the original images. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you.